off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us Hi friends It's the day before Thanksgiving My kids have a day off school For the first time ever They have the day off yeah, I mean, my friend who's worked work for the district has been with the district for 20-something years. And they have never, ever <laughs> had the Wednesday off before Thanksgiving. And, uh, anyway, so they're all home. I literally thought for sure Abby was the only one awake. Maybe Chelsea. And that I would get up. And I mean, it's 10 o'clock. I've been up for an hour and a half. I've been in my room, cleaning my room, making my bed folding laundry, um, normally I do it upstairs, or down here, but I took a load up last night to fold. Um, normally, I wouldn't have anyone awake right now on a day off. I think she, everyone's mad that they're awake. <laughs> but Abby had to go to work, and I get Kaylee did too, and Chelsea's always my first riser. I'm not sure why you're awake, but. I'm always the last one. You're always the last one, especially on a day off. But we need to get this room ready for Thanksgiving. I need to, no, I, don't, I, don't I think I need to work on the computer. I don't remember what it was. I don't have a video to make. Um, we need to make jello. We need to make mashed potatoes because I do twice baked mashed potatoes to save yourself the steamy day on Thanksgiving day. You're gonna put this blanket away, right? You guys yeah. think I'm joking that she's a little squirrel. No, that's not. I literally just took that up last night. Take it upstairs. <sighs> pick up. I pick up all day. Like, do we need an empty shoe? Insert box. Yes, because, because, Why? Okay, we'll leave it down there. Whose backpack is that one? Chelsea's? Chelsea's. Okay. And we are taking this silk down right when we have Thanksgiving dinner. And then Ashley said we get to put it back up. Um, so I have a whole list of stuff I need to do. Um, I also want to go to Trader Joe's and get some greenery or some kind of floral. Not floral, greenery to go on our Thanksgiving table. Um, I do have, well, I think the lighting is better right there. Oh. Leftover. Thanksgiving decorations from last year. I don't know if any of you remember our situation last year. Our family got sick last year, and so we had Thanksgiving alone. So we have a lot of leftover supplies from last year, including these amazing little bowl plate things. They're huge. Um, add some like little potpourri. What? What? What about it? There's like a huge gap. I know, it's okay, because did he put the other lights on? No, he did not. He was supposed to do that last night, but Why? I might have to put some gloves on because I need this tree done. It looks fine. No, I'm putting the other lights on. Why? I have all my picks ready to go, but I want to put the ribbons on those. My hands are feeling really, really raw today. I don't really know what part of the process of getting my nails done that makes them so raw, because there's nothing on them. There's no acrylic, there's no dip. There was no, but my cuticles are on fire. So they're really, battery died. I am gonna, because I can't really set up the table until the tree is moved back in. And then I don't know what <coughs> greenery I have room for until I get the table out. The tree is the first thing. So despite the fact that I would rather have Jason do this, and I did ask him to do Can this last night some? while I was sitting in a parking lot waiting for Ashley. You got some? Yeah. He didn't do it, but that's okay. We are going to, I've got laundry going, sorry, pretty noisy. We are gonna cover up my hands and we're just gonna loosely shove the bulby lights, the round light, bite, the, 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 the round lights into the tree. I want them more inside the tree. So we're gonna do that really quick. I'm not gonna do a time lapse. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like afterward. Cause I gotta go, I gotta hurry. I am not perfect at doing um, lights and it's more top heavy than bottom heavy. So I might have Jason run this strand um, on the bottom 
but my hands are getting really irritated with the gloves. So I am also allergic to latex. Then so. why did you put them on? <laughs> because it's not a, a short term allergy, it's a long term. So I've got my picks now and I've wrapped them with the green ribbon and we're going to fluff it up and put it into the tree. All right, you guys, I'm in love with these. I'm not gonna, I'm not quite done yet. I'm trying to clean up some of my mess. Um, I've got two more to do. I've got the ribbon right here. Luckily I bought two spools of this one. I wish I had bought two spools of the little white fluffy one, but we're making it work. It's just a little shorter piece, but then I'm switching and doing longer pieces of the green because I bought two of the green ones. So before I had um, white long ones, some of these have whiter, like longer white, um, but now I have longer green on some of them. And then I forgot about my bells as well as my little extra picks that I got from the dollar store. And so I have, I'll show you the final resort, the result. I'm gonna kinda keep that, don't mind Chelsea. But I am covered in flock and fluff and glitter. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I just wanted you to see the process. I've been sitting here with Christmas music on. Um, Abby took Ch Ashley to get gas at Costco and she's going to make, despite the fact that I have stuff to make, Muddy Buddies, Jell-O, um, apple pie. Uh, hi, Chelsea. She's the only one left at home. A me oh, Rice Krispie Treats. I have all the ingredients to make that, but she wants to make Oreo balls. And I'm gonna let her. So she took my Costco card to go to Costco, get gas, get Oreos. Um, she needs to get some more cream cheese um, and some she knows what to get and the chocolate. So I, I just sent her off with the credit card. <laughs> um, uh, this is taking longer than I wanted to, so I'm gonna hurry and keep it going. Um, I want to kind of figure out whether or not I'm gonna put the bells, it's all a big jumbled mess, on these. I would love to, but then I feel like my mantle is gonna be a little bit bare. I'm gonna have a couple extra of these and some green ribbon. So I think what I might do is tie a little bit of the green ribbon, green and this one right here I have extra of, onto these little picks and put them on the mantle with the little bells because I don't really have like gold on the tree necessarily. Like I don't have any ornaments that are gold. So I think I'm just gonna do that on the mantle, but I'm gonna worry about that in just a second. All right, I just realized maybe I should show you how to do this. <laughs> I know some of you have said, I think I might wanna do this. and I taken a little bit of you know finessing to like really like because I kind of was doing it at first and I was doing it right I was doing it this way but then I wouldn't remember how I was doing it and uh then did one wrong and I kept having to like redo it and I was like what am I doing wrong okay so you've got your pick and you want to turn it the way it's going to be in the tree like so I've got the um, this is the top side of it. You can definitely tell, you can see the little pine cones there. This is kind of the bottom side of it. So this is the top side and I'm kind of propping it here onto this little um, chair. Then you put your ribbon over, well, this is hard to do a tutorial on. <laughs> it's easier when I have two hands. Okay, so you lay the ribbon in the direction you want the ribbon to go. So you want it to go down the pick, like, because you're gonna put it into the tree. You want the ribbon to come down like that in the direction of the branches. And then you take this ribbon, whatever little ribbon you are using to tie them up, and you have it go the other direction. So you've got horizontal, and then you have this one going vertical with the direction of the branch itself this way. So then you wrap that around the back of the branch. You're gonna tie the green string around the branch and to the front of the ribbon. And I like to have my knot in the front, which is why I'm bringing it around the back first and then I'm gonna tie it in a knot right there. Okay, so you see that? Tie the knot, I like to have the knot right in the front. You don't have to if you wanna tie the knot in the back, it's just that then your ribbon will be on the back side of it and it won't flow down the front side of the other ribbons. And I really, really like that look. Also, go ahead and snip your edges to have the little ribbon edge on it. I just think it looks pretty. And I like this ribbon here. It's kind of like um, curling up on itself. See how this one is like kind of doing a little curly cue. Then I take my other picks and these ones are really, um, there's a lot of flock on these guys. 
there's flock everywhere. Then I take these picks from the dollar store and you could, what if you found them at Michael's or whatever, if you wanted to use berries, I didn't want the extra red. Then I'm kind of spreading these out. I'll cut the tag off here in a sec. Then I stick this up through that green knot along the back side of my ribbon so that it's not really showing on this front side. Um, and then here, I'll show you. I just couldn't hold the pick um, at the same time as the other one and the ribbon and this tying ribbon. So I just added the pick at the end um, and it just slides right through. I just kind of had a loosened knot and I just slid it right through and then that's it. I'm just gonna cinch this down nice and tight and you can kind of pull that through as much as you want. I'm gonna kind of branch these guys out like that and I'm gonna hide the little battery pack right up there but that is the final look when they are all done. And I'll show you what I'll show you what it looks like on the tree because I'm excited to put them all in. I have them all stacked up right here. And um, I think maybe what I, I what I sometimes like to do is when I have a decoration like this and I know it's gonna really have a, a fun impact, I'm gonna clean up first. I'm gonna set them all over there and then I'm gonna clean up the floor here so that when I have them all into the tree, I don't have to turn around and clean up a mess. Okay. It's all done. I actually really, really like it. So here's what they look like laying in here and I just kind of push the ribbons so that they kind of have a bend to them and then the green drapes down. I like that the green actually just kind of blends in and then the pop of white and then the glitter just kind of glows. Anyway, I'm really liking it. It almost makes me not want to put any more ornaments on it, but don't mind Abby. She's just <laughs> making her balls. I don't know, I really like it. As you can see, I added the bells to the mantle here. I'm in love with it. I stuck two picks on this side. Um, this pick has two in it, and then two in the bunch, and then I have three bells on this one. And then sign. I don't know. I do think maybe it could use some really tall candles or something on the top, but I haven't figured that out yet. Okay, next up we have the Thanksgiving table set up. Um, I don't think I'm going to leave these little pumpkins no. in the front. I think I might put them on the, t on the plate. Yeah, yeah that counts. Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to um, Trader Joe's and I'm going to get some greenery, some like maybe some eucalyptus or something to run down the center of the table, um, and you then one extra plate if Jacob comes. He won't. He's not coming for dinner. No, but he's gonna stay and play games in the morning. I do have these um, little potpourri going. things that I could put down, but I don't want to make a ton of mess. So let's go see what you want to go with me. Yeah. See what Trader Joe's has. I can go in my slippers and all. My feet are nice and warm. Also, I am wearing my Santa shirt again. It wasn't dirty the other day, so I'm wearing it again as I get ready for the holiday. Um, Ashley has promised to clean up her beads in case her cousins want to do beading. She's ignoring me. It's like the fifth time I've asked her. Um, I do have 
packages coming like crazy over here. Um, I have to go find my hiding place. I got Snickers for my dad. Um, I always give my dad a bag of Snickers and a pair of slippers from our store. So Jason, I actually need to remind him to bring those home and the chairs. We only have like three folding chairs and he has more at the store. So I'm gonna text him really quick. This tree, I kind of don't want to put any more ornaments on it. It's I so don't, pretty. I don't. Isn't it so pretty? I feel like you know just what like if we did sparkly ones. I don't. I don't like the ones you made. Like that. I guess. Well, what I think <laughs> I might do is all of my white knit ones because those the crocheted ones. Yeah, I don't. Would like be pretty. Either. I don't like all like the red and green. Oh, right. God. So I might do like the white ones, the wooden ones. We're not doing the um, yeah, the red mittens aren't gonna go on. Because it just look at this. It yeah, it just ugly. it change. Well, no, it just changes the look of it. It doesn't match the like, look, right? It just it doesn't. And I like those ornaments. Don't get me wrong; they have I, served yeah. a purpose. I'm not gonna get rid of them. They're gonna end up. But I do love the look of this for this like the, today, tomorrow, for Thanksgiving. It'll be nice to sit in this uh, kind. Okay. Well, she ruined the mood. <laughs> Let's go to Trader Joe's. Let me check my list first, actually. Meanwhile, Abby is making her Oreo balls. I do like the white chocolate way better than the regular chocolate, right? Mm -hmm. She freezes them for a little bit and then brings them back to dip them. Okay, Ash, show us what you got. They only had one eucalyptus, so I'm gonna use the ones I have at home on the table, and then we're gonna put these in the vase on the table, on the counter, right? Yeah. All right, we're back at home making lunch. Um, she's peeling my potatoes for mashed potatoes. Um, we snagged a pizza and jelly um, at Target, Ch Chelsea texted us while we were at Tater Joe's and she's like, we need jelly. So I got that and some pizza because there was a 20% off. So we stocked up the freezer on pizzas just for like moments like this where we're cooking, but we're not cooking. And I've got potatoes in here. Abby's still doing the balls over there, but we have the table getting set. I have little tea light candles, but I need to find some jars to put these in. I don't want to ruin our little cups, right? So I need our, like our jars that we use to drink out of. I don't want to ruin those. So I'm gonna look in the garage and see if I have little jars I can put the candles in. We've got a little candle lit here. Um, and then I put our greenery in the vase here. Um, I was gonna put this on the table, but it actually looked really good here, I like the green. So then on the table, we put the old eucalyptus that I had in that vase before. And then I had, remember that little potpourri? There's little pumpkins in there. So I just kind of sprinkled some pumpkins in there. I also found my wood chargers from the dollar store. My, my family thinks it's funny to have a plate that we don't use, but it looks really nice. And then we put the cups on and some plate people, I put um, two cups for the adults because we're gonna have waters. And I bought some ginger ale as our sparkling cider and we don't drink, so that's our bubbly. Um, so that's what it looks like down here. And it just, it's the right vibe with the tree, right? Like not too much green, but not too much orange. So I think it looks great. Okay, I found a box of more jars and Should we, we sure we decided to just kind of wrap them in foil and put them in these jars so that the there doesn't we don't get the wax on them and then it'll just be kind of pretty and uh that's it for our tablescape she's gonna light them just to see what it looks like right she can't do it. her fingers are still too little and too too weak even though i can hold a child <laughs> okay i'm gonna just like one more try and then i'm gonna do it true childproof, which is good, it's fine. Okay, I'm trying to eat my lunch, <laughs> but the potatoes are done, like boiling. So I just went ahead and put some cream cheese in here. Yes, I put cream cheese, it's the Pioneer Woman's method. And I'm gonna bury this butter underneath the very hot potatoes. I'm just gonna let that all get hot and melty together. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it up after I eat my lunch. But I'm hungry, <laughs> I'm very hungry. I've only had a drink of milk today, protein milk. 
So that one's going back to the fridge. This is all garbage. Okay, see how hot that is? Maybe I should put a little lid on it. That'd be a good idea. Put it down to it. Yeah. Let all the steam work for me. All right. We, um, it's late in the evening. Not late in the evening. It is, anyway, six o'clock. I'll show you what Kaylee and Jacob and Chelsea are doing out there here in a second. Uh, Chelsea and I went down to where Kaylee works. Chelsea wanted to look for a few things to get Kaylee for Christmas. And then we dropped Ashley off at cheer. She just has like an, an official practice tonight because it's like everyone is out of town. So she's not going to stay the whole time. And luckily Jason is timing his um, drive home from work. So he can go pick her up tonight. Um, so she's only doing like two and a half hours of practice instead of four, which is nice for her. She can come home and take a break. Um, but she wanted to do the first squad, um, it's the advanced, more advanced squad, and then tumbling so that she can get some stretching um, done. And then if she's too sore from, you know, to do the actual tumbling, she's just gonna rest and be there until one of us comes to get her. Um, but it'll be good timing for Jason to go and get her. I just think it's so pretty, don't you think? So, Kaylee and Jacob and Chelsea. Is Chelsea down here still? Yes, she is. What are you guys making? You got apples. Apple pie. Apple pie. Kaylee, your apple pie is the best I've ever had. I don't like apple pie. So I'm hoping this one doesn't fail. Just kidding. She's already had this one. No, no pressure. Why is it a bad start so far? She we don't have one cup measuring cup. <laughs> Someone one is in charge of cup. unloading. Oh yeah, that's a great idea, Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that really what's holding you guys up right now? Yes. Well, and she doesn't know how to do math, so Jacob's having to do it because she needs to do like the pie. <laughs> but her pumpkin, her apple pie is really, really good. So. You didn't try it last time? No, I didn't like it. But she's making two of them this time, so we have an extra one. All right, I'm hiding in here because I'm done. <laughs> I actually will probably have to go get Ashley in an hour. Oh no, Jason just got her. She just had to come home. Um, but I am going to watch The Crown for my TV. I would normally, actually maybe I'll go up in my off in my room. <gasps> I'm gonna go in my room. I'm gonna forget that I can watch Netflix in my room. I'm gonna do that. Cause I'm done with my computer, except for putting this footage in. I will show you the apple pie when the girls are done making it. It's quite the process and quite the mess. And despite the cleaned up messes Abby and I did all afternoon, I <laughs> can't handle the mess that it is out there now. So I'm just, I can't be near it. I can't be. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to, but I will show you what the apple pies look like when they are done and we're going to call it a night. We will see you for Thanksgiving day tomorrow and depending on how early we end, one, I, I kind of want to just enjoy the day and rest and play games and all that kind of stuff, but Friday we're decorating for Christmas, pulling out the stuff, decorating for Christmas. But we also have a really fun fundraiser to do for Ashley. I just emailed the Booster Club president and the coach to make sure that we're going to do this fundraiser. It's going to be a really fun one. I just need to have like some of the final details on it um, to know. Anyway, I just need final details. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really fun. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>